we can categorize our risk appetite in three categories. The first one is what we call conservative. Ang priority nito is security over returns. Whatever your capital amount is, 100,000, 500,000, 1 million pesos, yung amount na yun is secured talaga siya. X number of years from now, you can still get your money back with the same amount. If you're making 1%, 2%, or 3% per annum, you're happy with it because you know for a fact that your principal is protected. Uh, the opposite side of this is what we call aggressive naman. You are prioritizing big returns or potentially making bigger money and in exchange, you can also lose your money. Yung nga sinasabi natin, di ba? The higher the risk, the higher the reward. The lower the risk, the lower the reward. Your 100,000 pesos can be 200,000 pesos in a month or 300,000 pesos in six months. However, there is also a chance that your 100,000 peso capital will be vanished. Now, what if naman you are the type of person who wants to be in the middle? You don't like to be super conservative because you don't want such small growth, but you also don't want to be super aggressive to a point that your capital will be lost. In the moderate, there are two ways that you're going to earn money. You can earn money through capital gains and cash flow. Ibig sabihin ng capital gains, example, if you're going to buy a particular stock at 5 pesos per share, eventually, aakyat yung value niya to 15 pesos per share. If you're going to sell it, you have a capital gains of 10 pesos per share. The thing with capital gain is that you have to sell your asset to convert it into cash. The second way is the cash flow which is baliktad siya sa capital gain. You're not going to sell your assets. Instead, you're going to hold your assets and you will make money out of it. It may be through interest or it may be through dividends. You want to make a little bit money while you own the shares, but at the same time, your value, your principal can go up or down pa rin. But in the long term, there is a bigger chance that your money is going to grow kasi nga, historically speaking, long-term investing wins. Provided that your stock or that particular stock or investment that you chose is also good or established. That is why when you hear someone say, this is the best investment today, it is not applicable to everyone. Because iba-iba kasi tayo ng risk appetite. What may be good for you may not be good for me. What may be is enticing for me to invest in is not really something that's beneficial for you as well. Ang tanong, in your own assessment of yourself, what is your risk appetite? Are you a conservative person, aggressive, or moderate? Sige daw. Let me know in the chat box what your risk appetite is.